Yo, yo, slap on your gloves, grab your tools of choice. Hey, meet me in your kitchen, y'all. Hey, I want to welcome you back to my channel. I am your man, Keep a Cup Can Cook. Hey, I know you had time to read that title, so you know what we're about to do. Let's just go through the quick roll call, y'all. All right, we got a supporting cast. One stick of butter, unsalted. What I got right? Baking soda. Cinnamon. Vanilla extract. I got me a little bit of that rum extract. Now, hey, I got light brown sugar. Two eggs. Room temperature. Oh, if I didn't say it, room temperature on that butter as well. And also, make sure your oven is preheated. 350 degrees, y'all. All right, I got, a, matter of fact, all the measurements would be listed below in the description box, y'all. But I got all-purpose flour right here. Hey, but the star is right here. I got three, right? I'm, I say they ripen bananas. They could probably be a little more ripened if, if, you know, whatever floats your boat and everything. But matter of fact, this is my fourth one. And this is how they was looking. They could have got a little more riper. I understand that. But man, when these things started, you know, before they start putting out them fruit flies, man, I, I like, hey, they got to go. They got to go. But what we going to do first, let's go ahead and bring this um, all-purpose flour in. We're going to add a tablespoon of this baking soda, y'all. Should have already had this stuff out, but... You know me, I ain't with that bacon stuff. So, you know, I'm new to the game. I'm trying this, matter of fact, man. We, we, hey, we just going to, we going to figure this thing out as we go. That's a half. And that's a little less than half, so that's my tablespoon, y'all. Hey, we gotta do what we can do. Y'all already know. I'm a cook, I'm not a baker. So all these precise measurements, hey, they new to me. I'm figuring out some things as I go. I'm figuring out some, some easy things. And I saw the bananas. I knew my mama cooked banana bread back in the day. Never really paid attention, but I saw a few things, you know. And we're gonna go from there like that. All right, I'm gonna throw a pinch of salt in here. Cause everything has salt. Everything has salt. All right, we're gonna go with our cinnamon. I want a half a teaspoon of that cinnamon, y'all. Even though I like cinnamon. We're gonna get our whisk. Just gonna whisk this together at the same time it's kind of sifting it as well but I tell you again I'm not no baker I don't even have a sifter in the house but hey seem like I'm gonna have to do it I'm gonna have to get one Let me know in the comment section, y'all. Do I need a sifter to be a baker? Or can I use this whisk like this and just beat my flour up? All right. My flour, my all my dry is done. I'm going to 
bring these bananas into play. I'm just going to begin to mash them up, y'all. Now, I'm not looking for no real good mashing or nothing like that. I just want to break them up a little bit. Break them up in my bowl a little bit. Of course, if y'all don't like bananas, hey, this ain't the recipe for you. I like bananas. And that's why we doing this today, y'all. Okay, now we're gonna bring this unsalted butter into play. We're going to make this a quick, fast, and in a hurry video, y'all. I got my loaf pan right here. I think it's like a 5 by 13 or something like that. Now, you could get you some butter and put it on there. But I'm figuring to spray it with butter spray. That way it gives a crust, of, of like a crisper edge. Now, like I say, I'm new to the game. I don't know, but we're going to find out together, y'all. We're going to find out together. Now, I got my hand mixer. I'm just going to leave it on low and just, just cream my butter just a little bit. Just a, a tad bit, not much. Then I'm gonna take my brown sugar, try to break it up as much as possible. You know that brown sugar. Sometimes when it sit out a little bit, you know it'll clump up on you. You know, but this one it didn't do bad at all. Didn't do bad at all. So now I'm gonna take my mixer. We're gonna go in and cream this together. Hey, I'm gonna apologize for the noise ahead of time. But hey, we gotta get it, baby. We gotta get it. everybody's Labor Day. Hope everybody had a fantastic time. Everybody stayed safe. Everybody came home the same way as when they left. Go ahead and get this creamed up a few minutes, y'all. You want to get all those crystals, sugar crystals dissolved in this butter.
right now. What I like to do is one at a time on these eggs, but hey, we going in, y'all. I really ain't understood that one at a time thing just yet. Hey, that's another thing. Hey, if you in my comment section, hit me up, let me know. What is that all about? I'm liking what I see. I like what I see. For all you bakers out there, let me know something. Let me know something. Now, let's go ahead and heat it up with a teaspoon of vanilla. Go ahead and hit it up with a, a half a teaspoon of this rum extract. Gonna get that mixed up one more time. Because I'm gonna do this by hand the rest of the way, y'all. Hey, if you don't already know, I am your man Keep a Cup Can Cook. Hey, but he's trying his hand out at baking too. And with that said, let's go in with these bananas. Incorporate these bananas into the mixture. Matter of fact, I need my spatula because I want to get everything in there. I don't want to leave nothing. That's flavor. Now I'm just going to begin to fold these in there. And I'm actually hoping I don't beat it up too much because I'd rather bite down on a little bit of banana. And, and it don't always, everything don't look like, what's that called, uh, baby food. You know that banana's on baby food, man. I want a little chunkiness to it. Come on now, don't act like y'all ain't never ate some of that baby food when you was feeding your brother, sister, child. Come on now. I know I ain't the only one out there. Okay, at this time I wanna go ahead and I'ma dump this flour in. I'm, I'm not going no little bit at a time. We just going in, y'all. We going in. And I just want to fold this in, get it all incorporated. I got my loaf pan right here. It's already been sprayed, butter spray. But like I say, if you got butter and you want to use some butter or some margarine, do that. Liking what I see, but I know I hit, I need to hit the bottom of this thing. It's 
smelling good, y'all. I can smell the rum extract. I can smell the cinnamon coming off of it. And of course, you know, I already know the bananas. Hey, that's a gimme. Now I'm just going to incorporate it into my pan, pour it in here. Smelling good, I tell you that though. Definitely smelling good. I'm gonna try to get a little more out of there. I'm gonna go ahead and smooth that down a little bit. Banana bread going in the oven, 350 degrees. I'm gonna say 50 minutes. I'm gonna check it, but I'm thinking 60. I'm gonna hit it up under the bottom, even though I don't know what that do. But I used to see my mama do that, or she used to drop it, up. and then she put it in that oven. Right, y'all. You already know the routine. I'm gonna clean up my workstation. But before that, I'm gonna let you know I am your man, Keeper Cup Can Cook. Hey, if you're new to my channel, hey, hit that subscribe button. Give me that thumbs up. Hey, share this video, y'all, and let everybody know there's another one out here, y'all, doing it. And now he's taking it into the baking realm. Hey. Ain't no stopping him. Ain't no stopping him. Hey, I am your man. Keep a cup can cook. I'm going to clean up my dishes, my workstation. Hey, I'll be back. Yo, yo. Hey, I am your man. Keep a cup can cook. Hey, I'm going to have to show y'all this because, hey, I don't know if I allowed it to go too long. Hey. I like my crispy edges, but I don't know if it's too crispy or not. So don't come to me. Hey, I'm getting my hand in that baking game, y'all. Hey, it smells delicious, y'all. And, and look at that. Oh, man, feels great. Hey, we're going to... Hey, check this out, y'all. I'm going to make a little glaze with this. I got to... I don't really measure, but I believe this is about two cups of powdered sugar. I got me a, a teaspoon of vanilla and a half a teaspoon of rum extract that I'm adding to it. Then I have me some actually rum that I'm gonna add slowly. And we're gonna see what we can do. Like I say, that bacon thing is new to me. And then as I was, as it was in the oven, I was like, man, you know, could have added some pecans to it, but you gotta under, gotta make sure nobody is allergic to tree nuts. So I'm glad I didn't.
And that is, that is not enough. I'll be back. So basically, with about a two cups of powder sugar, you may need about a shot of rum. But the main thing is just take it slowly. You don't want to overshoot it, but then you got to compensate with the powdered sugar. So it works hand in hand. The main thing is just get everything work together, y'all. Hey, I'm loving what I'm smelling. Now, what I did do, part of the way through the cooking process, I went in with some aluminum foil and I tinted the top because I felt like the top was getting a little dark too fast. But it was on 350 degrees. Now, what I did not do, I should have checked it at 50 minutes, but I continued to let it go until 60 because I got tied up. So. That might be what the why I look a little dark. I'm gonna hit it up with a little bit more because I want it just a bit a little bit looser. y'all we're gonna go on here and pour this glaze over the top give you a little bit of that food porn right there think about it now but not a bread y'all you already know keep a cup style hey let's go ahead and get let's go ahead and cut this thing up are you supposed to use a regular blade or a serrated blade that's another thing, y'all. Hey, teach me. Hit me up in that comment section. Let me know what's going on. Feel like I need to be doing a serrated blade, huh? Take this piece right here. Oh my. I know it smells good. It smells good. What you think about that, y'all? First time, y'all. Banana bread at its best. Come on. 
Let's go ahead and take a little test. It, I mean, it, 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 it's moist now. Mm. It's definitely moist. Real good flavor, y'all. I like it. Mm. Hold on one minute, y'all. napkin y'all hey this is actually the truth y'all I like it it's very moist it got a little dark at the top and everything but man this is done keep a cup style right here y'all hey hit that subscribe button y'all Hit that like, share this video, and let everybody know there's another channel out here that's doing it. Hey, he highlighting people, all YouTube chefs that I follow, people in my personal life that pour cooking knowledge into me. We highlighting them, demonstrating it, and putting it on a plate right before your very eye. Hey, and with that said, I'm your man. Keep a cup can cook. And I'm out.